You may be wondering why I'm going through this dark house and looking for something. A file. Here it is. A J file. Conspiracy theories, <laughs> they are all over the place. There are people who believe in a huge government conspiracy to have the United Nations take over the world. There are people who believe in giant black helicopters and UFOs and alien abductions. In fact, conspiracy theories have become a part of our collective memory. O.J. Simpson, for example, was found not guilty on the belief in a conspiracy that the LA Police Department was involved in a huge, massive, calculated conspiracy to frame him. What are conspiracy theories? Well, to understand a conspiracy theory, you have to understand what a conspiracy is. A conspiracy is simple. That is when two or more individuals plan secretly to carry out an unlawful act, a crime. Conspiracies do happen. Conspiracies are facts. There have been many conspiracies in history. Julius Caesar was assassinated as a result of a conspiracy. So was Abraham Lincoln. Now a conspiracy theory is somewhat different. Whereas a conspiracy is fact, a conspiracy theory is based on the fear of a non-existent conspiracy. A conspiracy refers to an act. A conspiracy theory refers to a perception. Conspiracy theories have many things in common. Obscurity. Conspiracy theorists reject conventional wisdom and rely on little known variants. They have a taste for the improbable and the occult. Reluctance to divulge information. Conspiracy theorists often describe the enemy as they, and you will often hear in a theory such phrases as, to protect the names of those involved, I have chosen not to divulge my sources at this time. Overabundance of factoids and pedantic references. Conspiracy theorists overwhelm the skeptic with a barrage of names, dates, and facts piling on of conspiracy theories. When there are gaps in the story, conspiracy theorists add more conspiracy theories. For example, when extra bullet fragments were not found in JFK's body, it was explained by saying the doctors secretly took it. All conspiracy theories make five basic assumptions. First, power is the goal. All conspiracy theories center around the quest for power. Some group wants to attain power or keep its power, so they conspire. Benefit indicates control. Whoever gains from an event must have caused it. Ask the question, who benefits? And the answer will lead you to the conspirator. Conspiracies drive history. Everything in history is caused by some unseen element. Real history is made behind closed doors. Hitler, for example, believed that all history from the Black Death to World War I was driven by a massive Jewish conspiracy. Nothing is accidental or foolish. Whatever happens in society is the result of a direct design by some powerful individuals or groups. Everything happens for a reason. Appearances deceive. To a reasonable person, the absence of evidence means no conspiracies at all. But to a conspiracy theorist, the absence of evidence is the best evidence of all. The best example in the modern world of a conspiracy 
is the assassination of John F. Kennedy. In fact, no other event has sparked the imaginations of millions of people. Most Americans today think that John F. Kennedy was not killed by Leah Harvey Oswald alone. The internet today is filled with websites dealing with the Kennedy assassination. So what really happened in Dallas that November of 1963? Was John F. Kennedy killed as a result of a vast conspiracy? Let's take a look at the J file. can do for you, ask what you can do for your country.